perfect. You're out of the bath. Change quickly. We haven't got much time, okay? I'm going to go through your schedule for the day very quickly, so bear with me. We're already running late for five different events. First, you have your interview with Vogue, and I have the reporter waiting downstairs. This interview will be shortly followed by a general press conference within an hour for your new film. Afterwards, you have your photo shoot for life, which will occupy the rest of your afternoon. You have a dinner scheduled in Paris at 6 p.m. with the ambassador of France, and you cannot be late for that. So please ensure that your photo shoot does not run over time. As for tomorrow, you are expected at a gala event in the evening to showcase your latest fragrances, so the rest of tonight and tomorrow should be spent preparing. Do you have any questions? Good. I don't have time to go over it again. I'll bring the reporter in, though I do want to warn you that he lacks a certain... Uh, well, just uh, please behave. There's no time for playing around with him. I thought I told you to wait downstairs. I'm sorry. I suppose I got a little impatient. Can I see her? As it so happens, I was coming down to get you. You may see her, but please be respectful of the Baroness's time. She's very busy and cannot afford to have her time wasted. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Well, you're certainly hard to get in contact with. I wasn't sure I'd get to see your face again. But here you are. Beautiful just as I remember you. Oh, you'd be surprised. It took months to track one of your agents down. You certainly trade those out quickly enough. Add that to how frequently you move around. You're definitely busy. Well, I finally got a hold of one of the more recent ones and set up an interview. Pretend to be a journalist from Vogue using one of my friend's credentials. I really just wanted to talk to you. I miss you. We all do. But more on that later. For now, I'd love to catch up. Pour me a glass, would you, darling? Hmm. What is this? Moet Chandon? How is this, German? Eh, whatever. You really have left us behind, haven't you? <laughs> this is a big leap from those shots of Jameson we used to do behind the school, that's for damn sure. So, how is the Baroness doing, huh? That's what they're calling you these days, right? The Baroness? It's all over the magazines, and I can see where they got it from. I mean... Look at you. You're living glamorously and all from, what, a few sexual photos of some big names? Now you're practically a movie star bathing in scandal and success. Now don't get me wrong. I ain't saying you haven't worked hard. I just didn't think I'd ever see you so lavish. You always did have an insatiable appetite for class, though. suppose I can't be too surprised. I've been good. Well, as I'm sure you'd prefer. Finally got out the coal mines, so now I'm just kind of drifting. Haven't found where I'm meant to be yet, but I'm sure I will soon enough. Ain't too worried about it. Oh yeah, I I've, I've taken up writing again. Novels, actually. <laughs> Hopefully. I'll be able to finish one of these damn things soon. God knows I have enough source material to write from, but enough about me. I want to know how you're doing. Oh yeah? I heard about that new film. You're set to co-star James Cagney, right? Your mother won't stop blathering about it. Well, that's impressive. Truly it is. I'll be sure to see it in theaters when it's released. Me? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I, I haven't. I'm still on my own, I guess. Not to say I'm not interested in nobody, but I'm definitely not in the position to really be with said person, per se. And yourself? I'm sure you get a hundred love letters a day. I mean, <laughs> sift that long enough, I guarantee you'll find yourself a beau. If not, you can always just walk to any one of these trailers out here. You know, your various co-stars, those folk. There's no way they wouldn't find you attractive at least, right? No, I'm serious. I mean, look at you. Your name is big as Clara Beau. And there's Elgin as Marie Antoinette. 
I'm surprised there isn't a line of men outside the room right now. Then again, you are well guarded. <laughs> no doubt that's the reason, come to think of it. <laughs> uh, anyway, your ma wanted me to give you this. Said you left your locket behind when you last visited. I think it was over a year ago. She didn't want you to forget her, so she made me promise to hand it to you personally. That was the main reason I came here. Well, among others. As I said before, I miss you. And seeing your silhouette on posters isn't exactly doing anything to remedy that. Hey, don't get angry. I'm just saying. I'm not saying you have to leave all this behind. I'm just asking that you give us a call or, or write once in a while. I don't understand how someone can just forget about an entire life that... You know what? Forget it. I didn't come here to argue. That one my intent. I came here to bring you back down to Earth. Do you ever just feel like you're on the cusp of something great, but no matter how far you reach, you won't never get there? That despite all your best efforts, you'll always just come up short? Well, I probably shouldn't be asking you that, huh? <laughs> it's funny, though. Some of us are scraping tooth and nail to survive this depression. Hey, look at you. In a way, I'm proud. I really am. I just wish you'd talk to me every once in a while. I think about you often. You know. But it leaves me wondering. Do you ever think of me? Probably not, huh? <laughs> to be quite honest, I miss the woman that I... that I fell in love with. I'm sorry. I'm babbling. Maybe this could all be better discussed over dinner. Surely you can leave your castle behind for one night. Miss, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you have your press conference soon, and we really should leave. Uh, the riffraff is well-timed. Figures. I only have one question for you before I go. Are you happy, my darling? Are you truly happy? You don't have to answer. I just want you to think about it a bit. Give me a call when you decide to wake up from this cloud you live on. I'll be there. Waiting for you. Like I always am. Goodbye. <laughs>